Council of Penta, Bob, I want to thank you for your devotion in representing all of the resident, residents of Medford. You are our advocate on the City Council, and you fought with passion to achieve the best outcomes for all of the residents of Medford. <coughs> with grit and determination, you communicated the frustration of so many of us as our voices and concerns fell on deaf ears or were ignored time and time again. I personally want to thank you for standing with me, my family, and my friend and neighbor, God rest her soul, on a particular issue. Because of you, my neighbor felt vindicated and realized that someone actually listened to her point of view, understood it, and pushed back the bullies. You endured unwarranted backlash for your efforts. But what you did will never be forgotten by me, and I will be forever grateful to you. Harry Truman, a Democrat, and you're a Republican, in case anyone missed it the last time, <laughs> said, fame is a vapor, popularity is an accident, riches take wing, those who cheer today may curse tomorrow, and only one thing endures, character. Your character endures, as does your love for this city. God bless you and Susan. Thank you. It's so long, not goodbye. Sentiments also to Council of Camuso. Um, we had a few place battles. We always walked out, walked away smiling. Um, I, want to, I have a few words I'd like to say. And I'm trying to do this in a different approach. I have two quotes here I'd like to uh, sit, uh, read. First one: Be more concerned with your character than your reputation, because your character is what you really are while your reputation is merely what others think you are. That's from John Wooden, who was one of the most winningest coaches in college basketball, who won 10 championships in a 12-year reign with an unprecedented seven in a row, seven consecutive wins. The second quote, I believe there's an inner power that makes winners or losers. And the winners are the ones who really listen to the truth of their hearts. That's from Sylvester Stallone, otherwise known as your Rocky. Okay. Now, why these two? One is a fictional character portrayed by an actor, and the other was an actual human portrayed by a human. Okay, but what did they have? They not only talked the talk, they walked the walk. They they did so with compassion. They did so with integrity, and they were determined to have things go the right way, but it was always for the other person, it wasn't for themselves solely. And that's what Bob Penter is. I knew Bobby Penter back in the days of driving canteen trucks. He gave most of the food away to the needy kids in Roxbury and Dorchester. A lot of people don't know that. He was always being yelled at for not being able to pay his bill because he was giving the food away to hungry people. But uh, he's always been, no matter what, no matter what kind of adversity there was, he stood up stood up for what he believed in, what he felt the people wanted him to believe in. And with that, there's a lot of baggage that comes with that. And a lot of people don't understand, but he has conviction, he has integrity, and he's been a really good friend to me, and I hope he feels the same way about me to him. Now, that's all I have to say in that regard. What I would like to do right now is I'd like to give uh, Mrs. Penta, Susan, the backbone of uh, Mr. Bobby Penta. I'd like to present you with something. Where are you, Susan? Yeah.